Hey everybody! Hey Foho family, it's Ellen, your program manager. Happy Monday! How's everyone doing? It's so weird not being able to see you guys. Um, I am doing my first live class. This is going to be a circuit training class. I hope that this works. I did practice the Facebook live video last week and asked you guys to leave some comments and it looked like it did work. So I hope that you guys will join me today for our very first live workout. So I think it's just about 12.30 right now. Um, a couple things before we start. If you could leave a comment and let me know that this is working, that would be really helpful. Um, <clears throat> circuit class today. Make sure you guys have your water bottle and have a mat or carpet or something set up. I'm gonna be using this space here. This is my apartment and that's, um, that's the mat that I'm gonna be using. This is all body weight, this workout. Um, I do have a dumbbell that I'm gonna use for one exercise. So if you have some weights or if you have a dumbbell that you'd like to use, then you're more than welcome to do that. So this workout I call every minute on the minute which means that we're gonna be doing a circuit of three exercises. We're gonna do them for time. So reps don't matter. You just go at whatever speed you can go at. I will show you modifications. We're gonna do that for about 40, 45 seconds. And then we're going to rest and get ready for the next one. I see that there's one person watching this video now. So welcome, just explaining the workout today. So we'll do three circuits of three different exercises. The workout's gonna be about 40 minutes. We'll do a quick warm up, um, about three to five minutes, and then of course we'll stretch and cool down at the end for at least five minutes. So a couple things before we start. I will show you guys modifications, and I think a lot of you know that I have a hip injury, so I'll be doing a lot of modifications. I am gonna still be doing the workout with you guys, but just keep in mind that you, I want you guys to work at whatever level you can work at, so I'll show you modifications to make things more challenging and ways to make things less challenging as well. And... I'm also gonna be playing some music, just a little bit in the background, but feel free to blast whatever music you wanna play during this, um, during this workout, and you can watch me so you don't have to listen to what I'm saying if you wanna just blast your music. And I think that's about it. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. After the warm up. I'll check back in to see if you guys have any comments or questions. I wanna make sure you guys can hear me um, and if there's any problems at all, okay? Here we go. So let me get my music on. Then we'll get started. <clears throat> so again, this is just sort of some background music just to have something on. Again, you can play whatever you want. So we're gonna start with a quick warm up. So I'm just gonna have you guys follow along. We're gonna start with some squats. Down and up. So I want you guys to bring your feet about hip distance. Get nice and low, warming up those legs. I tend to go to the beat of the music, but you guys don't have to. Down and up. How's everyone doing today? It's weird not being able to see you guys. <laughs> Down. We're gonna do a couple more squats here. Okay, so now we're gonna have a little balance with it. You're gonna come down, bring that knee up, and just alternate, and up. Just warm up those legs a little bit more. Drive that knee, and up, and up. Couple more, down, and up. Down. We're gonna do two more. Okay, we're gonna stay on one side and just balance. Hold it here. Down, and hold. Down, hold. Hold, couple more, up, two more, get a little lower, last one is going to hold it right here, hold, hold, challenge that balance, take the arms up, we're going to open and close, so I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together, open and close, two more, open, alright, shake it out, same thing on the other side, down, 
and up. Down. So a couple on this side. I hope you guys can hear me. I don't have a microphone. Down. Down. Let's do two more. You're going to hold that last one right here. Hold it. Hold it. Watch if you go tucking your hips under, keeping that core nice and tight. We're going to open those arms. Squeeze and in. Think of squeezing a pencil in between your shoulder blades. Open. Slight bend in that standing knee. Couple more, last two. Down. All right, good job guys, shake it out. Okay, next warm exercise. We're just gonna take it back for a reverse lunge. Open up those hips a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna take it back and just a tap of the tap. Take it back, I'll show you from the side. Down, up. Down, and up. Down, four more, four. So you're bringing your knee and your hips to the floor. Last one, and other side. I'll just show you from the side. Step back and up, keep that chest lifted. Down, four more. Here we go, last one. All right, shake it out. Okay, I'm already starting to get warm. I'm gonna take this off. Hope you guys are getting warm as well with me. We're gonna do one more warm exercise before we stretch. So we're gonna come to the edge of our mat, or carpet, or floor. I want you guys to bend your knees, walk your hands out, you guys know this one. We do this all the time in class. Open up side plank, back to center. Other side, bend your knees, walk back up. Jump in jack to the top. Just keep that heart rate pumping. We're gonna do five of these. Open up, reaching up through your hips. Center, exhale, other side. Drive your hips up. Walk your hands, jumping jack. Let's try three more, okay? Bend your knees, walk it out. Warming up those hamstrings here. Open up, side, center, other side. Bend your knees. Woo. Two more, okay, here we go. I hope it's not too dark on the screen there. Open, close. Open, close. Come back. We'll do one more. Last one, we'll stretch it out, guys. Walk it out. Walk it out. Open, side plank. Other side. And walk it back up. Jumping jack. All right. How's everyone doing so far? Just wanna make sure it's not too dark. Thank you, Claire. Yes, I can hear you. It's my sister joining in. All right. Hope that's a little bit better. Um, will you guys let me know if it's too dark? I think it's a little bit better now. All right, let's stretch. Shoulder rolls. So hopefully you guys are a little bit warmer. If you're not, continue to move around until you are. Shoulder rolls. We're gonna bring those feet nice and wide. You're gonna keep a soft bend in your knees and we're gonna twist our torso. Side to side, okay? Nice and easy. In case you've been sitting all morning, or like me all week, right? Like all of us. All right, full body roll, shoulders, inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, round the spine, roll it up. Let's do it two more times. Big inhale, lower down. Exhale, roll it up. And one more time, let's stay here, nice and low. You're just gonna twist it side to side. Stretch it out. Roll it up. All right, so we're gonna make circles with our knees here. And just get to opening up those hips a little bit. All right? Open up. Let's take our hands behind us. One last stretch here. We're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open up through the chest and shoulders. Look up. Tuck your chin up down. Shake it out. You guys know my warm up. Okay, so real quick before we start, we are doing a circuit of three exercises. It's gonna be cardio and mainly lower body. Second one is going to be a strength exercise. Third is going to be a core exercise. So again, I'm gonna give you guys modifications. Um, I have that hip injury that I was telling you about. I also haven't worked out in over a week. I did sort of a yoga class last week, but um, I'm probably gonna be out of breath. So just wanna let you guys know that, remember that it's your workout and just do what you can. We're all here to get a good workout. So just wanna challenge you guys to do what you feel like you can do today. 
Oh, Shannon got it working, great. So do what you can. I might take breaks. I encourage you guys to take breaks if you need to as well. It's your workout, it's your body, but I am here to push you and tie to go a little bit harder, okay? So circuit number one, exercise number one. We are doing, I call it touchdown squat. Touchdown, okay? Remember, this is mainly cardio. So modification, just no jump. Alternating, right? Exercise number two, hyperextension into a plank. So we work our backside. You're gonna lay down, hyperextension. You're gonna squeeze and lift everything off the floor, and then you're going to push up into a plank position. Options here, maybe just that hyperextension. Maybe you stay on your knees. You guys choose, okay? Our third exercise is core. Forearm plank, so we give our wrist a break. We're gonna add, I call a rainbow twist to work those obliques. Here we are on our forearm plank. Okay, you're gonna lift those hips up. You're gonna tap the floor almost with your hips. Lift back up, making a rainbow shape. Tap, rainbow, tap. Okay, I wanna see that big arch of a rainbow that will just help to support your lower back. Remember to keep your hips tucked in. As we're going through it, I'll give you guys those cues, okay? Here we go, exercise number one, touchdown squat. We go for about 40, 45 seconds. Remember, don't worry about your reps. We're going for time, do what you can. All right, here we go. Three, two, go. Down and up. Touchdown squat. Okay, so it's kind of fast right here, and then jump, jump. Okay, remember that option? Just a regular squat. Maybe there's no impact today for you. Okay, so I'm gonna alternate between some of the low impact, some of the high impact. You wanna try to touch the floor in between. Remember that it is for about 45 seconds. It's not gonna be an all out sprint burst. You can only sustain that for like 20, right? Keep going, where are we at? Oh, three seconds, and stop. So we shake it out during this 10, 15 second timing in between, we get ready for our second exercise. Hyperextension plank. Three, two, go. Remember, you squeeze and lift everything off the floor, push up to a plank. Lower, repeat, push up. Take your time. I'll do modification on my knees, right? Or just the extension. Squeeze and lift. Let me know if you guys cannot see me on the floor here, okay? You can also come a little slower. Guests are closer. You'll have less than 15 seconds left, guys. Here we go. I'll get a little closer for you guys. Squeeze and lift. So what we're doing is working on those back muscles. Squeeze and lift, because we're hunched over in chairs all day, right? And stop. All right, Whew. Next one is our forearm plank. We're gonna add that rainbow. Option modification, you can just do this on your knees and just simply hold your plank. And that's a great exercise. Ready, set, let's go. Here's your plank, here's your rainbow. Up and over, up and over, right? Just wanna make sure you guys can see me. Up and over. Keep going, guys. I'm just going to bring us a little bit closer here. Keep going. I see three people watching. How's your workout going? <laughs> Woo! All right, here we go. Work that core. Up and over. Up and over, rainbow. Up and over. Remember to pull those abs in, guys. Tuck your pelvis under. Lift up and over. Your feet will pivot a little bit. A few more seconds to go. Make sure you're breathing. And stop. Woo. All right, come on up. That is our first second. First circuit, we have to do it two more times through. Okay, touchdown squat. Here we go. I've got this block, throw a little marker. Okay, ready, set, go. So I know for me, I can't quite touch the floor, come all the way down. I'm bringing the floor to meet me where I'm at. 
Ready? Go. Alright, I'm already getting out of breath. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still there with you. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Comments. Okay, good. Still working. Let's go. Remember, that level impact. You're still working, though. From the side. Here are your hips. They're getting low, right? Your chest is up. I see the dog is passed out. She's not thrilled with my workout. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Three, two, and stop. Shake it out. Hyperextension in 10 seconds. Either push up to plank or just your extension, right? All right. Squeezing all those back muscles. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Woo. Shannon, I know you're doing this workout. Squeeze and lift. I want you to add that challenge with one leg up, okay? Here we go. Squeeze and lift. Add that challenge. One leg up, okay? Like I just did. Go. Remember guys, listen to your body. Do what you can, okay? I'm gonna modify, so follow me if you need that. I'm just doing the squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift. Let's keep our neck nice and long in line with our spine. Can you get your knees off the floor when you do this? Can you lift a little bit higher, guys? Woo! Come on, let's go. Keep it up. And done. Woo! Floor and plank, okay? Remember, with that rainbow, your feet are gonna pivot a little bit. Want you to tuck your hips under. Imagine you're wearing tight belt around your waist, okay? Let's keep that lower back protected. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Up and over. Woo! Up and over. Remember, if you got music, jam it. Blast it. Whatever you gotta do to get motivated. Come on, up and over. Woo! Up and over. Up and over, guys. I wish I could see you and I could help fix your form, but I'm sure you guys are doing great. Come on, let's keep it up. Let's go, let's go. Remember, rainbow. All the way down, all the way up. You're almost touching those hips to the floor, guys. Woo! And guess what, we have one more round after this before our first break and stop. Whew. One more round in our first break, and it's only gonna be for about 90 seconds to two minutes that we'll take a breather, okay? Back to exercise one, what is it? Touchdown squat, you got it. Shake it out. Woo, my boyfriend thinks I'm crazy now. Ready, set, go. Down and up. No, he just wishes he could join in on the fun, right? Remember, exercise should be fun, too. Woo, wanna make sure we're having fun. Come on, let's go guys, keep it up. I'm just pumping up my music. Let me know if you can't hear me, though. I want it turned up, but not so loud that you can't hear me. Guys, this is your final round. Come on, last time we do this exercise. Woo, come on, keep it going. How we doing? <laughs> Shannon likes the one foot push up. Okay, I'll show you that one again. Keep going. Woo, come on, in and out, in and out, go. Three, two, one. Sometimes I get a little carried away. Woo. But always listen to your body, guys, right? All right, S seven seconds. Hyperextension, okay? Remember that more challenging option. We got Kim on here, and Steve, and maybe Lynn. Ready, set, go. I know you guys can do the challenging option. Come on, it's like this. Come on, push. Woo! Come on, push. Let's go, guys. Remember, last time you do this one. Last time. And now I'm back to modification, okay? Squeeze. Squeeze, let's go. Keep going, guys. Think of how long you are seated like this. And I'm only asking you for 40 seconds to extend. And actually, I'm only asking about nine more seconds, okay? Let's go. Come on, squeeze and lift. Push. Woo! Let's go. Stop. One more. Woo. Smash mouth. All right, here we go. Whatever you got playing. You never shine if you don't glow. Ready, set, forearm plank, rainbow. Let's go. Woo. You guys are all stars. Let's do it. Let's do it. Remember, we're not rushing this one. Slow and controlled with our core, right? Woo. 
Okay, I want you to twist from your waist, okay? From your waist, remember high rainbow, side and side. You guys gotta make sure you're breathing, let's do it. Come on, our break is coming up. Woo! Break is coming up, guys. We have less than 15 seconds until we get some water. Woo! I'm feeling it. I hope you guys are too. Oh my goodness. Keep it up. Done. All right. 90 seconds. Woo! How we do so far? Anyone sweating like me, Linda? Yay, Linda's in. All right, guys. So if you just got in, we've only done one circuit. We're doing two more. And I will post this video to our Facebook page so you can do the workout whenever you want. All right, guys, so water. Grab some water real quick. Woo! I am sweating. Again, I haven't done a workout like this in probably two weeks. I've been sick and haven't been at work, and it's been lazy, so we are doing it now, though, okay? Circuit number two. While you're getting your water, here's what we are doing. It's how to remember. All right, so our cardio slash lower body is gonna be a little more agility focused. I call this the Heisman. Okay, I've done this with you guys before. It's a one, two, knee up. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. It's a little side step. And then when we go fast, it looks like this. Like the football players, okay? If you're not getting it, fast feet in and out also works, okay? Exercise number two. Remember, this is our strength. We're doing push-ups, okay? We did something similar but last round. This is your full-out push-up. So we go on your knees, hands over the wide of your shoulders. I want your elbows back. Down and up. Down and up. None of this. Okay, you guys know. And of course, you could do the full push-up on your toes if you'd like. I'll give you some ways to make it more challenging. Exercise three, which is core. Oh, sit up. If you have a dumbbell, I have a dumbbell. Jim has 15 pound dumbbells, which is pretty heavy, so I'm just using one. Weighted sit up, okay? You hold the dumbbell or cross your arms at your chest, and you're gonna do a full sit up all the way up, okay? The extra modification for a little less challenging, you guys know, a regular crunch, hands behind your head, just lifting head, neck, and shoulders. Extra challenge, maybe keep your feet lifted off the floor. Again, we'll go through this. All right, 90 seconds is already coming on, okay? Here we go, circuit number two. Heisman. Three, two, go. Start my, my stopwatch. One, two, three. So it's one, two, and then the knee comes up. One, two, knee. One, two, knee. You add that arm with it. Boom, boom, boom. And then maybe go a little faster, right? Whew, so I wanna make sure you guys see me here. Okay, remember if you're not getting it, you can jog in place, right? Maybe fast feet. But pump those arms, whatever you're doing, okay? Heisman, fast feet, pump. Let's go. Woo! Dun, 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 dun. Let's go, let's go. You should feel your heart rate get a little higher. Come on, pump. Woo! Feel my legs. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. Stop. Okay, push-ups. How are we doing? Okay. Push-ups, guys. I'm going to show you from the side, okay? Ready, set, go. Lower and up. Lower and up. I want your arms slightly wider than your shoulders, okay? Challenging option on your toes, add a shoulder tap. So I'll show you from the side. A little extra challenge, guys. We go down, push-up, and then shoulder tap. Okay, that's your challenge. Push up, shoulder tap. We have 15 seconds, guys. Here we go, I'm just folding my mat, because it hurts my knees. Okay, woo, down. Can you lower your chest all the way to the floor? Woo, and stop. Okay, we're 
we're gonna work on those again. Push-ups can be hard sometimes. Another option is doing them on the table or on the wall. Remember, bringing the floor, the surface to meet you where you're at and not forcing yourself to make it work if it's not going to. Weighted sit up, ready, set, go. So I'm doing my dumbbell, okay? So grab a weight if you have one. Maybe a bottle of wine, right? Maybe some canned goods. Now I'm keeping the weight close to my chest rather than out in front. That gives a little momentum. A little more challenging holding it close. And if you don't have that weight, just cross your arms, okay? Dig your heels into the floor, full sit up. Now if that bothers your lower back, follow me here. Hands behind the head and a crunch. And a crunch. Crunch. Make sure you're pressing that low back into the mat though. If you're doing that crunch, three, two, and stop. Woo, come on up. Round two, those are our three exercises for this circuit. We come back to that Heisman or fast speed. In three, two, and my stopwatch dropped. And go. Woo. Heisman, one, two, knee. One, two, knee if you want to break it down, okay? When that knee comes up, I want you to get low. So I want to see the level changes. Bum, 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 okay? That gets that heart rate up and keeps it up. Or maybe it's just fast feet, right? Practice in and out, in. Don't worry, I won't tell you to do a burpee in between. Eric might go. Here we go, here we go. Bum, bum, bum. Heisman. Or maybe you're just jogging in place, right? Once you pump those arms, wherever you're at. Come on, five more seconds, go. Go. Woo! Are we having fun yet? And step. Push-ups. Remember, your hands slightly wider than shoulder distance. You want to come down, elbows go straight back, and push. Our heads are not like this. Okay, ready, set. Let's do it, go. Show me good form, guys. Down, watch me first and then try it. See how flat my back is. See how long my neck is. And my elbows go straight back, right? Woo. I don't care if it's on your toes, if it's on your knees, if it's on a wall, a bench. I got a bench here, I can do it on my bench if I wanted to. Let's do it. Down. And maybe you only lower a couple inches, that's also great. Maybe it's there, and then push. Where is your core? Are you tucking your pelvis under as you're doing this? Let's go. Stop. Whew. All right, weighted sit up. Or crossing our arms, or that crunch, right? Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna try the weight. I'm gonna try this 15 pound dumbbell. Woo! All right, ready, set, go. Okay, so I'm digging my heels into the floor and I'm sitting up as tall as I can once I get to the top. I'm pulling my abs in as I lower down. And then I push and lift. Pull and lower, push and lift. Pull and lower, push your low back into that floor. Oh, it's getting heavy. Come on guys, keep it up. Remember those options, crossing the arms. You know without a weight, that's still challenging, right? And if that's not too much for your back, follow me. The key about a crutch is really lifting off the floor and not bringing your chin to your chest, right? So lift straight up. If you're doing that crunch, how much time? Stop. Whew. All right, guys, one more round. One more round, how we doing? We got four people now, all right, let's do it. Okay, we're starting from our first exercise. Okay? I'm just turning up my music. All right, Heisman, ready, set, go. One, two, oh, Sandy's gonna join us. Hey! <laughs> Sandy the pup. She wants to join us. Come on in. There we go. Come on. One, two, up, one, two, up. Let's go, let's go. Remember, you could be doing this. Woo! Let's alternate in and out. I wanna see you pump those arms. I can't really see you, but. <laughs> Come on guys, you can do this. Let's go. Woo! Come on, it's your last time we do this. Last time, last time, let's go. We got like six seconds left. 
One, two, up. Stop. Whew. Okay. Now I'm getting tired. Push ups. Push ups, guys. Here we go. Whew. Now that's just bothering your wrists. Maybe hold a plank on your forearms, or if you have weights, you can do a chest press, right? Ready, set, go. Lots of options. Okay? Here's that option if it's too much for your wrists. Chest press, right? Push. But I want to see you guys do your push ups. Extra challenge slow and controlled. Can you lower for three counts and push up for one? Let's try it. Three, two, one. Push up for one. Try it again. Three, two, one. And push. Try it again. Three, two, one. And push. Yep, that's harder. Let's try the opposite. Down for one, up for three. Down, three, two, one. Down, push up three, two. Try one more. Down, push up three, two. Stop. Whew. Hey, baby girl. Okay, we have one more. It is our core, our weighted sit up. Okay? Ready, ready? Go. With or without, right? So here's your modification. Here's that crunch. Now Sandy's watching. Here's that crunch, guys. As you lift, you're also pushing into that mat. Whew. Let me know also if I'm too loud. And, and if you can't hear me after the circuit's over, leave a comment. All right, guys. We're more than halfway. Let's go. Whew. I'm going to try it with that weight, okay? If you have weights, use them. Let's do it. Remember, less is more with core. We're not rushing it. We're not woo, rushing it. Let's go. And if you soar of our shoulders away from those ears, let's do it. One more. All right, done. Woo. All right, guys. Great job. Circuit two is done. 90 seconds. Grab some water. How's everyone doing? See the sweat? Woo! All right, comment if there are any technical issues, you can't hear me, or not understanding an exercise, let me know, okay? Last circuit is coming up. Get some water real quick. Our third and final, okay? I know you guys are killing it. All right. Here's our last one. Cardio slash lower body skaters. You guys at FOHO know these very well. We do them all the time, okay? A little less challenging and no, no cardio. Maybe you just do the, the step. Maybe there's no jump, no impact, okay? Or maybe you go fast. Maybe you add those arms. Okay, lots of options. Exercise number two. This is gonna mainly be for our back and shoulders. We're back into a forearm plank. I want you to add a pike. You're here. You're gonna push your chest and hips up. Lift and lower, okay? Lift and lower. It's sort of like a plank and downward facing dog put together. All right, and then our last one, core. It's a slow bicycle crunch, okay? So you can use your hands or a foam block behind your head, okay? We're gonna find that bicycle crunch. You're gonna hold it, we're gonna add some crunches, and then we're gonna switch. Add some crunches, okay? So we're not doing the regular style one, that's just a bunch of twisting. All right, so skater hops are first. Anyone comment? Volume's perfect. All right, thanks, Shanita. Okay, here we go. This one's gonna be tough. These really tire you out. Remember, I'll be doing the different modifications. Skater hops. Ready, set, go. Full version's right here. You wanna think like you're speed skating, okay? Like Apollo and Tanono, right? Whew. Add a little twist. So not only is it cardio and lower body, we're also working the core, right? Lower impact, modification. Maybe you make it a little more strength oriented. Skater or curtsy lunge, right? Watch the knees. Woo! If you want it more challenging, add the hop, add those arms, okay? 
Maybe you jump a little further. Maybe you jump the whole length of your mat. Stop. Whew, you should be out of breath, right? I know I am. All right, forearm plank. It's our pike up, back and shoulders. It's a plank, downward facing dog. Ready, set, go. So imagine my hands pulling your hips up to the ceiling and then you shift back to your plank. You pull up and you lower, right? You pull up and you lower. Now, if you're not really feeling it, you can do a traveling version, walking your hands to your feet, walking your feet to your hands, watch. This is harder. Walking my arms to my feet, then I walk back out. I can also walk my feet up, right? And walk back out, okay? Maybe you do a single leg. Whatever you gotta do for three more seconds. And stop on our back. I'm grabbing my phone block, okay? It's really important to make sure your neck stays relaxed in these core exercises. I know I have some neck issues, so I'm really careful about it. Use your hands, right, to support your head, or a foot block, which works really well. All right, here we go. Right leg extended, left knee in. Find the bicycle crunch. I want you to push your back into the mat, and I want you to crunch, 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 crunch. Four, three, two, switch legs. We crunch, crunch, crunch. Keep your back as flat as you can. Switch legs. As you crunch, it's a mini lift off the floor. You are looking up at the ceiling, guys. Four, three, two, and switch. You feel your abs? If you're not feeling your abs, you might not be doing it right. So keep going, keep your back flat. We do eight crunches, then we switch. Stop, time's up. We'll practice that again, okay? The key there is keeping your back really flat like a Pilates movement. Skater lunges. Ready, set, why did that stop? Go, back to exercise one, go. So I'm doing modified to start. I'm gonna sort of alternate between my modified version and my higher impact for my hip, okay? Woo. So the great thing about this is that no one's actually watching you, right? So you don't have to perform, no one's judging, but it is your workout, right? And you wanna get a workout, and I'm hoping that you came to this Facebook live workout because you want to get a good workout. Come on, let's go. Woo, let's go. And then maybe you try a couple seconds of something a little harder than what you normally do, and then you slow it down, right? Just try a few seconds. Stop. Woo, we'll try our, our last round. Woo, Sandy's passed out. Okay, pike. Ready, set, forearm plank, go. Feet together, lift and lower. Get your hips as high as you can, reset. Back to your plank. Are you tucking your hips under in that plank? Right, that's the easiest way to get your body to engage your core. Think of tucking your hips under, okay? Remember those extra challenges, walking your hands to your feet, walking your feet to your hands. My hamstrings are tight, so that's a little hard for me to do. But I'll show you one more time, okay? Extra challenge, walk, right? As far as you can, walk back out. Maybe walk your feet up. And done. It's like dolphin pose in yoga. All right, core, here we go. Remember, it's that bicycle. And if you're not getting it, maybe just a regular bicycle is what you're gonna do today instead, okay? Back flat, head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Right leg out, let's go, left knee in. We crunch for eight, seven, small, six, five, four, tiny, three, two, one, switch. Crunch eight. Can you get that leg a little lower, a little closer to the floor without arching your back? Two, and one, switch, eight. Seven, six, breathe, five, four, three, little crunch, and switch. Keep going, guys, eight, seven. I should not be able to slide my hand underneath your back. 
That's how flat it should be. Two, one, and switch. Crunch, eight, can we go a little higher? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch. Here we go, eight, and stop. Woo! All right, guys, guess what? Our final round! And then we're done, and then we're just gonna stretch. Okay, remember it's not that bad. Try the harder version for a few seconds. Skater hops, go. Okay, try for a few. Come on, come on, come on. And then maybe slow it down, okay? See, you just did it for 10 seconds. You just went really hard, okay? We're, we'll work ourselves up to that 40 seconds. Try it again, go, go. Whatever is a little challenging, a little bit harder for you. Go. Slow it down. Or you can keep going. I just know that I gotta slow down and catch my breath for a few seconds. Let's go. Come on, five. Stop. Okay. Whew. That was hard. All right. Forearm length. Pipe. Okay? Remember, if you're not feeling it by now, if you're not out of breath, try something harder. Challenge yourself. Go, remember these options. Walk your hands to your feet. Walk your feet to your hands. Woo. Come on. I know you're doing that harder one, Shannon. Go. Come on, walk those hands to your feet. Push. You guys can probably hear me breathing. How much longer? A little less than 20, guys. Let's go. Modification, you can hold it. You can just hold your plank right here. Are you tucking your hips under? Are you breathing? Come on, less than 10. Let's do it. Work the back, hips up and lower. Slow the control and stop. All right, guys, this is it. The hair, you can tell I'm working hard by the hair. This is it, guys. Be careful of your neck, okay? It's a small crunch. Your gaze to the ceiling. Ready, set, left leg extended, right knee in. Here we go for eight, seven, six, mini crunches. Five, four, three, switch it. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Can you lower that leg a little more? And switch. Here we go, crunch, eight. Can you crunch a little higher? Six, five, push your back into the mat. Oh my abs, switch. Whew, eight, seven, you should be struggling. Six, five, four, Remember, you can have feet on the ground and just do those crunches. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, one. Last time, guys. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Chin up, four. Leg lower. Two, one. Legs out. Legs out. Hold it as low as you can. Hold it. Hold it. Maybe arms overhead. Hold it. Can you hold it for eight, seven, six, five? Four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay. Great job, guys. Great job. Roll yourself up. Come on up slowly. Grab some water. You guys like that ending? Whew. Water. How do we do? We're not done yet. Okay. About five more minutes. If you can give me five more minutes, we're going to stretch, okay? Almost as, almost more important than the workout itself, right? Let's stretch. Make sure to get your water, though. You guys are awesome. Woo! Okay, let's start standing. We're gonna do the shoulder rolls again. Please make sure to put some comments in the uh, section, the comment section there. I'm gonna post this on our page so that anyone that missed it and wants to do it can do it whatever they would like. Woo, stretch it out. Let's do that full body. Roll again. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, roll it up. Really round in the spine. Let's go one more time. We're gonna stay nice and low here. Inhale, exhale, push that aside. And breathe. How'd you do, Sandy? She loved it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's come down to our hands and knees. 
How are we doing? Bum bum. That's Shannon said fun. Okay, hands here, tabletop position. Okay, as we inhale, you're gonna drop your belly to the floor, lift your head up. Exhale, I want you to pull your chin into your chest, round your spine. Let's do it again. Inhale, lift up. And exhale. Do it again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Bring those toes together, knees wide. You're going to sit all the way back into a child's pose. Extending your fingers to the top of your mat. Relax the head. Move a little bit side to side. And let's walk those hands up. We're going to swing our legs around, come down into our back. We're almost done. We're going to hug those knees into our chest. Dog hair everywhere. Hug your knees into your chest. You're going to flatten your spine. You're going to give your spine a little massage by rocking side to side. Okay, we're going to do a twist here. Open those arms out to the side. Palms facing up. You're going to drop your knees to the right. And you're going to look over that left shoulder for a spinal twist. Take a few breaths. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale to the left side, looking over that right shoulder for a twist. And come back up to the center. Let's do those hamstrings. We're going to kick our right leg up. If you have a strap, you can place that strap around the ball of your foot and pull that leg in. If not, you're just going to reach behind your knee. Now the key here is keeping your back flat, your shoulders down and relaxed. Keep that left knee bent in to support your back. Take a good deep breath. Let's circle our ankle, wiggle our toes. And we're gonna take that ankle up and over our left knee for a figure four or a pretzel stretch for those hips and glutes. Maybe you pull behind that left leg and bring your legs in a little closer. I can't do that on that side. So I'm just gonna push against my knee here. And we're gonna go ahead and switch. Just shake those legs out. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So left leg up, pull that leg in. Same thing, you're gonna circle that ankle. Do, do. And we're gonna take that ankle up and over our right knee, pull it in for a stretch. You can either push against that knee or keeping your back flat, reach behind that right thigh and pull your legs in. Take a few breaths right here. Do. Then go ahead and release. Let's extend our legs and arms. You're gonna make yourself a little bit longer here. Take a big inhale and exhale. Let it go. Bending our knees. We will roll over to one side, press ourselves up. Let's come to a downward facing dog position to stretch out those calves, especially if we were jumping. So you're just gonna pedal those heels, dropping them down one at a time, pressing your chest towards your thighs, and then we're gonna lower to our knees. Shift our weight back to our heels and roll up to standing nice and slow. Nice and slow, roll it up. Let's roll those shoulders at the top. One more time. We're gonna interlace our fingers, grab them behind us, squeeze our shoulder blades together. We're gonna look up, tuck our chin, look down. Shake it out. Inhale, let's lift up. Exhale, bend the knees, shake it all out. Do it one more time, inhale up. And exhale, shake it out. Woo, great job, you guys. You are so awesome today. So, you know, whether that was a really challenging workout for you because you haven't done anything in two weeks or whether it was sort of easy, you know, now you have a baseline and you can continue to do this workout a couple times a week because we hit everything. We got cardio, we got strength, we got core, upper body, lower body. Now you have a baseline, and now you know how to make it more challenging if it wasn't challenging enough, or how to maybe bring it down a little bit to modify to whatever works for you and your body. But I wanna thank you guys so much for coming. We're gonna have a lot more live classes. Please leave feedback and comments. Please let me know and the FOHO team what else you're looking for so that we can be able to provide those workouts for you guys. And thank you so much for coming. You guys are awesome. Have a wonderful rest of your day.